Hi, so here we are at the Guinea Garden, and uh, I've opened up the door um, so they can come in here and eat all this great stuff that's in here. And um, there's a lot of stuff in here, but uh, mainly there's uh, herb wise, there's uh, burdock, all this uh, green leafy is burdock, and there's also comfrey in here. There's Here's a comfrey right there. They tamp a little bit. And, uh... <laughs> squealing. All the, the little individual plants you see over there are comfrey plants. But the green in between here that's filled in is, uh, a lot of it is ragweed. And, uh, I've never turned them loose on ragweed that was this young and, and short and it's pretty tender right now so I'll be it'll be interesting to see if they um tamp that down but what I want to do here is is I want them to eat all this stuff um you know the comfrey and the uh, uh, burdock um well the comfrey is perennial but the burdock is uh biennial I don't know if this is uh one or two year, it might be two year because of the size of the leaves are pretty big. But um, I'll let them chew it down, and uh, it may it may get uh, more leaves back. I'm not sure if it's the second year if it'll rebound back or not. But what my plan is here is to get them to eat all this, this stuff, and uh, I've got a bunch of comfrey roots that I want to plant in here, so I'm going to replant this and. Um, you won't believe, but they will uh, tempt this right down to the ground. All the screen will be gone in a couple days. Um, so I've got it blocked off right here. This is kind of my uh, makeshift fence here. I just uh, got some plastic scraps, and then I also strung some plastic up at the top there just to kind of, um, you know, keep it blocked off. I didn't want a short fence in here because I didn't want them to hop it to get on the other side. But um, over here, over here, um, on this half here is all the Jerusalem artichoke, and it's pretty uh, short right now. It'll get at least double the size, if not, you know, a couple more feet than that. But it's uh, ten. 10 feet at least it'll get, 8, 10 feet. And if I let them in here right now, um, you know, they'll eat the leaves, but they'll just, they'll just tramp, you know, trample it. And I don't want them to do that because I want it to grow tall and uh, create shade and shelter in here. But it's pretty thick. I haven't really um, dug up any of the roots. I let it spread on purpose. So it's, a, I, I think I, planted, I want to say, two rows of it, maybe, I don't know, That's, it, it wasn't that much, but it's really filled in, and this is like the third year of it, so, um, of course, it looks like a lot more than it is, probably, you know, stock-wise, although, I don't know, <laughs> it's like, well, it could be, but anyway, it's pretty thick, I can't tell, but, um, I want this to grow tall, once it gets about, you know, six feet or so, um, it'll be too big for them to knock over, I think, and uh, I can let them in here. But they like to build nests and stuff in here, and like I said, shade, it's cover um, from the hawks, and they can run in here. Um, and they dig up the roots, too, so. This is my hops plant right here, and it's starting to really take off and go crazy. You can see the vines are... Um, just really growing and uh, I put a little fence around it this year out on the outside here to keep them from uh, eating uh, the leaves on this side and they were doing that although it's getting bigger and bigger every year so um, it'll go uh, it'll go down halfway down the fence on each side it'll get a nice uh, set of vines and it'll uh, really fill in nice and this started as one plant, so it's, it's grown pretty good. Um, I also had some other uh, 
pipes in here, but I don't think it's growing anymore. I'm just going to take that down. But anyway, so there's the half of this uh, garden now is uh, Jerusalem artichokes. So I blocked it off so they um, wouldn't get in there right now. So you can see a lot of the birds are in there right now. They're just going crazy because um, I've been picking uh, nettles for them, but... Um, you know, they, they probably want a lot more greens than what I've been picking, and so you can see they're kind of going crazy in there, and they'll, they'll probably eat all the smaller... <laughs> okay. They'll eat the smaller uh, tender stuff, and um, so I'm, I'm interested, you know, if they're going to eat that ragweed or not. It's, it's pretty thick in here, but it's, it's the leaves are really tender, so looks like they're they're pecking at it and uh, they'll clear that out first and um, let me get over the fence here um, but then uh, they'll eat the uh, burdock they'll eat all those leaves, they'll eat the stalks, they'll eat everything in here it'll get right down to the ground so pretty crazy how much they can eat and how fast they'll eat it but I think really in a couple of days it will be um, pretty much gone so we'll come back out tomorrow and we'll take another look and see how they're doing